Measuring flow in a closed conduit pipe has never been easier. The C-Trans FST020 is a clamp-on, non-intrusive flow meter, accurately measuring volumetric flow in full pipes. The FST020 transmitter combined with high-precision sensors utilizes the same wide beam technology used in other Siemens clamp-on flow meters, which makes it possible to measure the flow of many different liquids, including those with moderate aeration or suspended solids. Today, we will review how easy it is to configure the FST020. The FST020 is offered as a single channel NEMA 4X in either AC or DC power and includes various outputs. The FST020 outputs include 4 to 20 milliamp, pulse, relay, Modbus RTU, and BACnet MSTP communication, which is used in building automation and control networks for HVAC applications such as heating and cooling. To complete the flow meter system, any one of these sensors can be used with the FST020. The universal sensor, generally used on non-steel pipes of any size, the high precision sensor for use on any size steel pipe, and the high temperature sensor for any pipe size or construction material at temperatures up to 230 degrees Celsius or 446 degrees Fahrenheit. The FST020 5 key keypad, 2x16 alphanumeric display, and menu-driven software make configuration simple. The FST020 can also be configured with Cyware or C-Trans connection. Cyware is a PC software utility featuring a variety of communication and diagnostic tools to optimize the performance of your Siemens clamp-on flow meter. C-Trans Connection is a mobile app that enables programming of any Siemens clamp-on meter from your Apple iOS device. It is also a great tool for meter and process diagnostics. For this exercise, we will program the meter using the keypad. So let's start the demonstration. To configure the FST020, we need the following application details. The nominal pipe size, wall thickness and construction material at the sensor location, the size and type of sensors we will be using, and the type of liquid we will be measuring. We only need to set four parameters to start measuring flow. The first step is to create a site name for our application. Press the Enter key to access the program screens. Using the arrow keys, select the Channel Setup menu. Navigate to the Create Site menu selection and enter a site name of up to eight characters. To create a site name, use the up, down, and right arrow keys to select a name. Then press the Enter key to save the site name. The next step is to enter our pipe data. The pipe data is critical to the flow meter's accuracy. Be absolutely sure that the data entered is correct. Use the arrow keys to navigate to the pipe data menu. The pipe dimensions can be directly entered using the up and down arrows, or you can use the built-in pipe tables. When you select the pipe class and its nominal size, the flow meter will automatically populate the pipe data fields for you. Verify that these values are correct and press the Enter key. The application data should be entered next. This is the information about the liquid being measured. Navigate to the application data category. Select the liquid type from the drop-down list. When you select a liquid, the meter will automatically calculate the sonic velocity, viscosity, and density. If necessary, the viscosity can be manually fine-tuned. Press the Enter key to save your selection. Now we will enter the sensor data into the FST020. This will help us to mount the sensors for optimal performance. The data we need is the sensor type and size, both of which can be found on the sensor label. To enter the sensor data into the FST020, navigate to the Install Sensor screen. From the drop-down menu, select the sensor model and size. The FST020 will recommend the preferred mounting mode. This is either direct mount or reflect mount. It will also calculate the spacing number index. Please record this index number. It is used to properly position the sensors along the pipe. We are now ready to go to the pipe where the sensors will be mounted. If possible, mount the sensors in a location where the flow of liquid is fully developed. This generally occurs by having 10 pipe diameters or more upstream of the sensors. For applications that do not meet this criteria, the FST020 has a built-in pipe configuration menu that offers upstream piping options the user can select to improve the measurement accuracy. To achieve proper operation, the pipe must be full at the sensor mounting position, even at zero flow. The mounting area must be degreased and abraded to remove any loose paint or rust. 
This will give us a clean contact surface for the sensors. Attach the sensor frames to the spacer bar. Secure one frame at the reference position and the other at the number index we recorded earlier. Clamp the frame and spacer bar assembly to the pipe using the stainless steel straps. Sensors are provided with a standard coupling compound, but for the purposes of this demonstration, we will utilize the maintenance-free coupling pad. Apply a thin film of the supplied couplant to the sensor, then attach the pad to the bottom of the sensor, applying another thin bead to the other side of the coupling pad. The compound on the pad will eventually dissipate and will not result in any reduction of performance or signal strength. Insert the sensor into the frame and tighten the overhead screw. Repeat these steps for the other sensor. Additional mounting options are also available, including magnetic mounting frames for large pipes, track mounts for small pipes, and high precision mounts for harsh environmental conditions. Finally, attach the cable marked up to the upstream sensor and the cable marked down to the downstream sensor. We are now ready for the final step in the commissioning of the C-Trans FST-020. Return to the Install Sensor screen. Navigate to the Install Complete option and select Install. During this procedure, the FST-020 will display a series of drive numbers while it scans for the optimal sensor frequency. Once the frequency has been selected, a bar graph will be displayed as the operating parameters are verified. Upon completion of the initial makeup, the FST-020 will display the measured sonic velocity for your liquid. Press the down arrow to continue. If necessary, the FST-020 will now begin the Order Zero routine automatically. The Order Zero routine is only for applications where the sensors are mounted in reflect mode. When the Order Zero is complete, the flow meter is ready to measure the flow. Press the Enter key. The display will now show the instantaneous flow rate and totalized flow value. We have now completed the setup for a basic flow application. The meter can be further configured for data logging, outputs, and status alarms. For further information, please visit our website.